All right, uh, my name is Sam Tolley. This is uh, Tennessee College of Applied Technology, Jackson Lexington Campus Machine Shop. I'm making this video to give a virtual tour of our machine shop and to, uh, to basically show everyone what we do here at the Technology Center in machine tools. So uh, we all have to wear a mask. I'm gonna have to put my mask back on while I'm uh, giving the tour here and uh, we have to protect ourselves from COVID. So. All right. Decision table. Some of the tools that we use in machine shop, they have to learn to use calipers. Precision measurement instruments. The height gauge right here. This table is made of granite. And they use micrometers, scales, protractors measure angles with we also have granite v blocks this is just an example of some of the tools that we use to make precision measurements with filling machines here in the middle of the shop these are all machine tools that are used for squaring up pieces of metal cutting angles drilling holes boring holes uh, all kinds of different operations definitely one of the machines that have to learn to master this is a uh, manual lathe mr uh, sean allen bills running a manual lathe making one of his projects about 85 percent of the curriculum here at tcat is projects and they're making them from blueprints that that are given to them using precision measurement tools to uh, make the dimensions on the drawing on the part. How you like going to school here, Sean? It's fun. You like running a lathe? Yep. This is Carlos. Carlos is running a milling machine. Cutting some V notches. Carlos has the head tilted to 45 degrees. What do you think about it, Carlos? I think it's gonna turn out pretty good. Gonna be all right? I think so. We'll see when it's done. All right, good deal. Here, as you can see, we got a very well lit shop. A lot of machine tools. They all keep a toolbox here to keep their projects in. Just some of their stuff. Over here on the back wall of the shop, we have service grinders. This is where all the service grinding is done. We keep all of the abrasive atmosphere from the surface grinders back here. We have a heat treat oven. This, this oven capable of heating up up to uh, about, we usually run it up to about 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. It's about as hot as we ever use it. This is where all the raw material comes into the shop. And this is where everything begins. These guys right here are using a horizontal bandsaw. Right there. And this is where it all starts at, right here. It's just a rough piece of steel. Mr. Ethan Scott here indicating a four jaw chuck. Look like you got a rectangular part in there. Yep. And what are you making here? Let me get over here where I can see. I'm making a jaw for a Greenfield tap panel. Greenfield tap panel, all right. That's gonna have a left-handed thread on it. Yep. That's something unusual. That's something we don't normally do in here. We make left-handed thread. Or indicate a rectangle part in a four-jaw chuck. Right. Is it indicated now? Yes, sir. All right, so now you're gonna turn that diameter right there yep. for a 5, 16, 18. Remember, you need to look at the machine's handbook up there and get the diameter for that. Right. One of our CNC lathes. We got a Bridgeport CNC knee mill right here. We use this for engraving. Uh, one of the students is programming uh, this machine right now over here as we speak. The CNC lathe, Haas TL1, really good lathe. 
Got a CNC mill right here. Needs to be homed out. We'll home it out real quick. And this is Mr. Brandon Stokes. Brandon is using feature cam to generate code. Like we're gonna write Z71 on some V-blogs. Oh yeah. Why Z71? Because that's what I drive. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, just uh, your way of personalizing your own your parts. We know that that it's Brandon's. If it's got Z71 wrote on it. Uh, these right here are tutorials that we use to train with master cam. I also have tutorials for feature cam. So uh, this one, this one here is for the lathes. So if you work your way through this tutorial right here, you actually will learn how to run and use master cam. Right, so examples of the projects that the students do here. This would be the first one. Turn the other side and pick them up from the shoulder. This would be the first one that they would do. So you get on the drawing. Here's the instructions. There's dimensions. And tolerances are applied to the dimensions. There's a second project. You can see uh, Brandon has engraved that and personalized it. We know it's Brandon's. All their, all their parts look just alike until they engrave them. Uh, this would be the third project. This, a lot of our projects require multiple pieces. So uh, this is a little family of fly cutters. You got a big one, a medium one, and a small one. All the dimensions are given right there in that little chart. And they're lettered over here with dimensions and dimension lines and a picture of the drawing. This is a mill stock. Again, all these parts are tools that they would use as machinists. This, this drawing has multiple pages. This, is a, this, this project here is multiple pieces. It's uh, several projects within a project to make that. Here's the fourth project that they would do. They make a pair of mill jacks. This one right here has been colored in a heat treat oven. This one has just been polished. Again, the, the drawing has all dimensions on the other side of it. This is a Starrett machine jack. Got a little swivel on top of it. There's the drawing. This is an assembly drawing for that particular part. We have a T-type tap handle. Very nice looking tap handle very shiny this one's made out of stainless steel very nice part part given right there turn it around this is the drawing for that part there's the finished part oh uh, this is a test project one of the projects i consider a test project this a pair Parallel clamps, again, something that they will always use uh, in a machine shop. Some people use them a lot. Some people maybe not so much. It depends on where you work. Here's a V-Vice. You're making this one too, aren't you, yes. Brandon? Yes. All right, so this right here is a precision vise. Uh, this thing will have tolerances plus or minus half a thousandths. Uh, it's meant to hold parts uh, on the service grinder or you can use it in a drill press or you can use it even in a milling machine uh, but uh, again multiple parts multiple pieces this this part is made out of a2 tool steel and it's heat treated and there has to be a couple of different jaws made for it and a screw these are one two three blocks Again, something that Brandon's working on. You still, you still like a little bit on these. They're not yeah, completely finished. Them. Yeah, you gotta grind them. He's put some chamfers on them. Uh, but again, right here is the drawing. Dimensions for everything. Tolerance is specified really close. Very, very hard to hold that type, that type of tolerance. I would consider this right here the final project. This is a test project also. Uh, we make a pair of these. There was actually two of them, and uh, uh, 
So the, the guy that left me this one, he took the other one with him. So uh, I have a couple of students working on these right now as well. They're not as quiet as far along as these are, I don't think. Well, I think Ethan, well, Ethan may have his done. So. Again, dimensions and tolerances specified on the drawing and part made and personalized with engraving. This right here is a Greenfield tap wrench. Again, multiple parts. This is uh, one. This is the wrench that Ethan was working on at the four jaw lathe. Right here is what he's working on. Not quite finished yet, and this is a finished version of it. Ball peen hammer. This hammer is made on a CNC lathe. It's a good CNC lathe project. Uh, we use it as part of the curriculum for the CNC training. There's a hammer head. You can see it matches the drawing pretty close. Again, something that they would use in machine shop. Yeah, and that's it. Uh, if anyone has any questions about machine tool, uh, here at Tennessee College of Applied Technology, Jackson Lexington campus, uh, don't hesitate to give me a call. My name is Sam Tolley, uh, and you can uh, you can always find me here five days a week. Uh, we'll be here working. You, anyone wants to come see it, uh, come check the shop out, come take a tour. We'll be more than happy to show it to you.